Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you five ways that you can monetize your YouTube channel. Now, before we get into those five ways, I want to point out two links that are below. One, there is a growth YouTube series that you can click below where you can um, watch other video th videos that I've made to help you grow your YouTube channel and help you make money using YouTube. And number two, many of the tools that I mentioned today, I did not want to list them here in the description. There was a lot of different ones, but I have a one-stop shop you can go to. And some of those tools will be um, linked into that um, link that you see below. And it'll just say um, tools below. All right, let's get started. Number one, the first way that you can monetize your YouTube channel is by using AdWords. Now I'm gonna list these in order from easiest to most difficult, if that makes sense. So if you're new, this is a great way to get started. One of the things um, for, for using AdWords is it's kind of putting, ad, well, basically it is, it's putting ads on your YouTube videos and you get paid by how many clicks there are um, and how long the videos run and many people that have monetized using this will get on videos and they'll say well it's not that much money i'm only making four thousand a month well between you and i i'll take four thousand or two thousand right i'm sure you would too let me show you how to set it up and then it will just automatically go from there the first thing you need to do is go to adwords.google.com and start, where it says here, start now, you want to set up an account with Google. And then you're going to go into your YouTube channel and you're going to connect it. So let me show you how to do that. So um, right after that, you're going to go into your YouTube channel and into your dashboard on the left, go all the way down to where it says channel and then where it says advanced and you're going to see a link here it says link an adwords account now before you can link that account and start monetizing your youtube channel you have to meet certain criteria youtube used to allow everybody to do that but they changed the rules and you have to meet certain criteria which i think is good because by the time you meet the criteria you're going to have a very active busy lots of content account uh, lots of content on your account um, one, you need to have a thousand subscribers within a 12 month period. And then two, you need to have 4,000 hours of view time, which comes out to 240,000 minutes. Now that sounds like a lot, but it is reasonable because by the time you get those two, uh, meet those two mile markers, you have built a pretty good account and you're showing YouTube that you're here for the stay, you're being consistent, and then they're going to take the time to add you to that program so it, it does make a lot of sense so do, just keep building and make that be your goal i want to get to those four thousand hours i want to get to those subscribers and keep providing that content and be consistent and it will happen so that's the easiest way not the most lucrative way but the easiest way to monetize your youtube account the second way you can monetize your youtube channel is by promoting affiliate marketing now affiliate marketing is when you promote other people's products so sometimes you might go watch a video and maybe somebody's saying hey this is how um, i created my youtube channel here are some things you need to do to set it up okay they're giving you some great information you're new you, you want to know all those things but then they might say hey these are the tools that i use this is the camera that i use this is the microphone i use and then they'll put those links below you go click those links and you buy them i mean you're excited somebody suggested those to you you didn't have to do the research that person is earning a commission for every time somebody buys that product and that's what affiliate marketing is it's really a win 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 situation the person selling the microphone makes a sale the affiliate marketer earns a commission and the buyer has bought something that somebody else has tried it and is referring it to them and everybody wins so that in a nutshell is affiliate marketing now you might say but where do i find these products that i want to promote let me show you a couple of sites where you can go find products now there's more than this but this is um, some of the uh, most popular one place you can go is uh, share a sale and what you would do is you would sign up as an affiliate and then you would go in and look for products that you want to sell now one thing i want to point out when you get into affiliate marketing you just don't want to go willy-nilly and just choose different products and say oh fashion is great oh um, tools are great you know see how that doesn't mix you, whenever you decide that you want to promote something you want to create a niche um, usually a niche is within three different 
um, categories, wealth, health, or relationships. So once you pick your category, then you want to start um, driving in and get more specific. So if you go with health, which a lot of times fashion might fall under that, then are you doing female fashion, male fashion, children, women, you know what I mean? You got to keep on narrowing it down and then your whole channel will talk about that. And then when you talk about different parts of fashion, and you could even get into makeup and beauty and things like that, then you're going to start offering those links to people. So that's how you make money using the YouTube channel. And in here, even if you go into health as far as um, diet and exercise, there's going to be all kinds of different products. They might have Shakeology. They may, may sell. Here's Jillian Michaels. There you go. She's a, she has a program. You can promote her products. I'm sure she may have some um, active wear that you could buy, maybe some videos and things like that. So try to remember you want to stick within that same niche. Another one that's very popular is Amazon Associates. Now, Amazon Associates is really nice because there are billions and billions of people that go to that site. You don't even have to drive people to that site and you can pick any products that are on Amazon. You have to sign up as an affiliate. You have to prove that you're serious within 180 days, which is six months. You have to make three sales, so that's not impossible. And then this is the neat thing I like about Amazon Associates. So let's say that I'm doing health and wellness and I send people to look at some cookbooks okay so maybe I'm doing um, my content is about food and recipes and eating healthy and things like that I send them to some cookbooks well let's say they get on there and the cookbook that I recommended isn't the one that they want maybe they started exploring because you know how their suggestions are below and they said wait a minute I, I like this cookbook better it's not the link you gave them but Amazon recognizes that you sent them there, so they will still give you a commission for, for getting them onto the site. And I believe it's within whatever they buy within the 24 hours, it could be 48, um, they change all the time. But there is a time period that if that person goes in there and clicks and purchases some things, you get the commission. So that would really be cool if they were doing their school shopping or Christmas shopping or something like that and you get a commission on the whole order. So that's the second one. Now the, the negative that I would say with Amazon Associates, it's basically the their commissions aren't real high. It might be seven to twelve percent somewhere in there, but hey, it's 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 a percent. All right, the next one that I like to show is called clickbank.com and clickbank is the same thing you go in you go under uh, the left here under the products your niche let's go we're talking about health and fitness here we go so let's go to health and fitness that's always a popular one so I click that and then I'm gonna see all the products that are in there that other people want to sell and they want people to help sell their products and you just go in and um, you can see all the different products that they have. So down here, they even take it and separate it more. Are you in the beauty, uh, dental health, diets and weight loss? So let's say we mentioned beauty earlier. We're into the beauty industry. We're, we're selling fashion wear and other things. What is in here? They get really detailed. So you can keep on breaking it down. They'll just keep breaking it down until you get to those products. And like I said, you just keep following it on the left. I'm not going to get into the products because the point is just to show you the, where to find the products to become an affiliate marketer. But the way YouTube comes in, that's what we're talking about today is YouTube, is that you're sharing those links after you talk about those products. And that's how you're monetizing your YouTube channel. All right, let's talk about um, the third way. The third way that you can monetize is with email marketing. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm not sure what that has to do with YouTube. How's that connect? YouTube will help you to build the email list. And you're like, well, what do I need an email list? That's a whole nother way of making money. Well, let me show you. I have a little example here. When you drive somebody to, um, if you think about it, you've been on, um, different videos before, or you've gotten emails where they'll say, Hey, I have this free checklist for you. If you want to learn how to lose 10 pounds within 30 days, let me give you this ebook or this checklist. And many times you've clicked that list. And what it does is you come in, this is you over here, you click the list and they give you that free item. But in exchange, you're giving them your email address and usually your name, sometimes your phone number. That is what you're building as, as a marketer. Why do you want that information? Because then 
you have a sequence of emails already to go. They're automated. You've, you've spent time to build that sequence up and then you start emailing them and talking about different products that way. Because a lot of times people will look at your YouTube video and not everybody subscribes or if they do every single day, they're not going to be opening up every single video and they're not going to open up every email, but you have another way of getting in front of them and you're not going to email every day. You're going to do it sporadically, um, just enough to stay in front of people, but, and just not enough to become annoying where they start ignoring you. But that's what an email marketing system looks like. Now, how do you get them? to see your free product, okay? That's a whole nother system there. Well, what you need to do that there is to build a landing page, okay? And that's what that first thing there is. Let me go back. This is a landing page that you're driving people to. Well, you need a piece of software that drives them to that landing page. And I'm gonna show you a couple um, of those and let you see what those look like. Okay, here's a picture of an actual landing page. So you make a YouTube video and you talk about this book.com secrets. This is just an example. And you say how great this book has been to help you grow your business. Um, it helps with lead generation, blah, 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 whatever you're talking about in your video. And then you offer them to buy the free book. Click the link below. When the person, the viewer clicks that link, they come to this landing page. Well, to get this free book, they need to fill out their name and their email address and then it says yes send me the book that link there then will go to the information um, to get that book sent to them um, i think they pay shipping on this and in the meantime you've collected their name and their email address and then that's when you're putting them into that list where the um, an autoresponder will, will start to send them all that sequence of emails. Now it sounds complicated, but it's not, but it's really what everybody does in their business. Everybody, every business should be collecting emails and providing a sequence of information that goes out to their email list. So that's crucial to any business. And this is why if you have built a an audience let's say in a facebook group i know a lot of people that are very very successful they have huge facebook groups and they're always promoting different products um, and and getting people maybe to um, they may offer affiliate marketing or maybe their coaching services or different things like that the negative of building your audience only in that facebook group is that facebook can come along and shut that down and then you lose everything. I actually know somebody that that just happened to, and they had over 10,000 people in their group. So you have no ownership of that audience if you do it through a different platform. When you create an email list, you're putting that on a platform with an autoresponder. And I'm gonna give you a couple of names of autoresponders so you can look at those as well. And you might say, yeah, but that company could shut down. Yes, they can. But the difference is, is you can export that list and keep it updated, keep it on your laptop, keep it filed someplace safely, and those names are yours forever. So you have to remember to back it up, export it. So that's how the email list works. Now, one of the funnel building sites or landing page building sites is ClickFunnels. That's the one I just showed to you. They actually have a 14 day free trial and you can build a landing page that looks just like the one that I showed you. Another one is called uh, lead pages. So very similar, very similar, but these are some templates that they have and you can build your lead page or landing page from there. So both of them are pretty similar. They have templates already made for you and you go in and use them. And then later when you understand the program, then you can go in and start creating your own stuff from scratch. So let me show you a couple sites for autoresponders. These are this one here is a Weber and they too have templates already designed for you that you can go in and collect those emails, use their templates and just go in and, and, and um, type up your emails ahead of time. And then it all becomes automated. And that's, um, I, I actually on my channel really push passive income and that's where the passive income in passive income comes in. If you think about it, you've got your video that's been made. It'll be there forever and ever and ever. You direct people to that landing page that will stay there. And then they direct, um, you collect those email addresses and then they get into the sequence, the automated email sequence, and you're constantly sending new information from there. So it's a beautiful system. It just takes time to build it. Um, another autoresponder that's Aweber seems to be one that a lot of people like to start with because it's very, very simple. But another one 
that I keep hearing is um, very, very popular is Active Campaign. Active Campaign will actually help you segment your emails. So when you have people come in, let's say you have um, some of your uh, people click the button and they said, eh, I don't want that dot com secret. So what Active Campaign will do is say they didn't click the link. The net, maybe another group of people did click the link. So they'll send them, redirect them into another direction. And then you have the people that click the link and purchased or pay for the shipping and got the book. So you've got three different actions that can happen and you can direct people into three different directions. So you're communicating with them based on what they did, if that makes sense. So people feel more like, huh, they, they're, they're really speaking to me. Um, you know, the next email to the person that didn't click it, you might come back and say, well, why didn't you like it? What, what was it about this that you didn't felt like you didn't need it? And the one that did click it, you're going to say, Hey, I'm excited. Um, when, once you dig in, you know, make sure you look at chapter three or something like that. So you're, you're being more personable and that's, what's nice about active campaign. All right, let's look at number four. Number four, another way that you can earn money using your YouTube channel is by selling courses. Again, you're making videos based on content and you're sharing knowledge and then you can direct people. Hey, if you'd like that, I have a course that you might like. Now you can create your own courses or you can sell somebody else's courses as an affiliate marketer. A lot of people start out selling other people's courses because um, you're spending a lot of time building up your content and digging in and building up those email, you know, sequence to get autom uh, automated. So a lot of times this comes down the road a little bit and that's why it's number four and it's not number one. You've got to remember, you got to start with a base and then build from there once you get things in place. All right. So where would I go to sell some courses that other people have created? Let me give you some different places that you can go. And this one call is called Udemy, U-D-I-M-I. And these are some people that have actually um, some testimonials, but basically if you are selling a course that you have created, you can go to the site and put it on that platform and get other people to sell for you as affiliates. Most courses will give you a 30 to 50% affiliate commission. If they're only giving you 10% or something like that, I wouldn't promote the course because like I said, most of them give, actually a lot of them give 50%. So I honestly wouldn't promote somebody's course unless it was higher because they're out there and you can promote them. Um, so Udemy is one place. And again, the other thing that you can do is look for other people's courses and sell for them or sell your own. Another place that you can go is uh, Linda, L-Y-N-D-A.com. Again, same thing. You can sell other people's courses or you can place your course on there and sell it and let other affiliates sell it. Now, remember, if you're selling your own course, you're making a hundred percent commission. So if you're selling a course for $297 or let's say you're new and you start out with $97, um, I know a lot of people will do that because they just want to get their name out there and get recognized and build credibility. $97 for a course that you created, you don't have to keep going back in and recreating it. Sure, eventually you might go in and tweak it. People might say, hey, you might find there's a lot of questions in certain modules and you can go back and update it. But the, the course has been created. You don't have to go out and keep creating products and selling them and worrying about shipping and returns and things like that. So once you create it, you make 100% and you can pay other people half of that, $50, to sell the course for you. And it's all income to you. All There's no more um, money tied up in, in productivity or anything like that or shipping and, and different things like that. So where do you go to build the courses? So you have ideas. You're like, wow, I, I've got ideas. Maybe you're an artist and you're YouTube channel has been about different techniques that people can use in sketching or painting or whatever your niche is. Maybe you build a course on how you can um, sketch a certain picture, you know, and all the steps and you have this whole course. Um, how do you create that and where would you put it? There are a couple of places that you can go. One is, I'm going to come back to this uh, create and go in just a minute. I wanted to show you somebody that actually sells courses, but let's go over here. This one is called teachable.com and you can go onto their platform. You can buy a basic monthly 
program for just $29 because they're you, you have to pay to be use the software nothing's free and they want um, and then every time you sell they take a five percent transaction fee so that's a great way to get started and I think there's a limit that you can sell um, three courses I thought I read that maybe it's on the other one okay this one says there are only two admins can use it so if you have somebody monitoring the program for you maybe you've hired a virtual assistant you can only have two people in there so yourself and somebody else as admin so again you get what you pay for as you start building your business you can go up to the professional level and then they don't take any transaction fees you're already paying that flat fee which is nice if you're starting to make some good sales um, they're not taking a percent anymore so go in um, look at it and see what the fees are and what they offer but basically you build your program your modules in there and then you can sell from here and you can sell by promoting in other social media platforms there's another one called think ific think I F I C same thing but they do have a, a free program that you can come in and test drive it and I believe this is the one that said you can only have three courses but it gives you an opportunity they're also going to take a percent obviously but it gives you an opportunity to create a course put it on the platform use their software and the nice thing is about this is if you have a course that nobody buys let's say you put a lot of time in creating it and it's not really something anybody wants you really haven't lost any money and that's what i like about this one um, they're letting the the new people get started test it out and and see where their niche is and everything and then once you are successful then you can go to the basic course here now i wanted to show you a company called create and go and they have created a country a company where they build courses so um, they're into blogging so they have a lot of courses about blogging their name is Alex and Lauren and the neat thing that they do if you look down here they've taken some of their courses and they even bundle them so right here it says pro blogger bundle course most of their courses run about 297 now remember they get a hundred percent of that so if they only sold three in a week that's almost a thousand dollars for something they already created um, yes they put the time in to create it but once you have it then you take the time to promote it and sell it and this is a neat thing what they did it's a pro blogger bundle so you could get four courses normally four courses might run well, let's go to it I went ahead and clicked the link and they have a whole big long thing here about what are the courses what are you getting this is their sales page and I know I'm, I'm whipping through this really fast but I want you to get down to the bottom they've got testimonials on there they they've got everything telling you about it and all the way at the bottom all the courses cost I think it was um, $788 if you bought them separately I think it's right up here oh I just saw it or they say it's a value of $980 so roughly $297 a piece but they're selling it to you at a discount for $647 so basically you're basically um, getting one for free is the way they're selling it now remember pure profit to them they've already put the time in and they're selling the course so that's a great way to make money using your YouTube channel is by promoting your courses or somebody else's all right we have one more way that you can make money and let's go ahead and bring that up now you can earn money using your YouTube channel by promoting yourself to train others and uh, coaching you can sell yourself as a coach you've been around a long time you've built some courses you've been successful you have um, yourself now that you can offer on top of your courses you've been working with people you've um, built up your credibility and now you can sell yourself for coaching now some people will sell coaching one-on-one -on -one, and I've not normally seen it for less than like $997 it, it is lucrative there's money to be made but remember if you're coaching one-on-one -on -one, you need to be coaching one-on-one -on -one. you need to be giving up your time to make that money if that's something you enjoy doing it's a great way to make money now something I've seen that a lot of people are starting to do that's a little bit more lucrative and not so t as time-consuming is you can start a private Facebook group where people pay a membership to come in and you do group coaching now I have seen fees anywhere from $33 a month I've seen one that is 97 but it seems like the average is $33 a month to $49 a month and you have a group of people come in and you do group coaching now I want to 
really um, emphasize here that you need to make sure when you have people coming into your group, like I said, you've already got credibility, you've already got an audience, but you need to make sure you're giving them value for the money that they're spending. I have signed up for a couple of court, uh, groups and nobody's in there. Like they're, they might say, oh, go to the units and there's all your um, training that you can get into, or they'll send me to their blog page or to their membership group and I can get into all the free training. And I understand that's really nice, but in my mind, when I go in, if somebody, if I'm paying for group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching, I want to see the coach. So make yourself visible. You could go in I know some people will go in once a week, like every Wednesday night or something like that, but I even recommend going in more often. Make yourself visible and show people that, hey, I am here to help. Do live videos. Um, I'm gonna put a plug in for Ray Higdon. He has been, um, he has a group and I think he only charges like $20 a month and he's been doing it for years. He has thousands and thousands of members. And the reason is because one, the price is awesome and he is in there every single day day he does a live and he's there to give people um, content and he's there to ask questions he has contests and he he there's so much value for your twenty dollars a month you don't want to leave and he even offers like a one-time price for a lifetime membership so people can pay for that as well and i you know if everybody i've seen he's probably the best in my opinion because he makes it affordable and he gives he gives you way above and beyond the value of that the money that you're paying. So those are the five ways that you can make money monetizing your YouTube channel. And I want to go ahead and recap it right here for you. You can go ahead and take a snapshot of that. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, I have a link below to go to the playlist for um, YouTube growth. And I'm going to constantly be adding videos in there. And two, um, there's another uh, link there as well. And that other link is for tools. So some of those different um, sites that I said, I recommended to you, that their links will be in there for you as well. Or you can go back and um, find out what they were and just type it in yourself. All right, thank you. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, just start small. Um, be, know what all those ways are, but don't try to do them all at once. Start with the first one and then build from there and your business just keeps growing. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.